Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of an e-commerce agency transforming online brands into market leaders. I've got a very exciting video for you guys today because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the three things you need to build a six-figure e-commerce agency. For those of you who don't know what an e-commerce agency is, it's basically a social media marketing agency that helps e-commerce businesses. I will show you why personally I think it's the future of social media marketing agency, and, and also I will show you the ways that it's different to a traditional social media marketing agency. So I'm very excited for this video because you're gonna be able to take all these strategies that I cover in this video and apply them to your agency so you can start building a huge e-com agency empire. So as I said, really excited for this. And without further ado, I'm gonna be hopping on my computer and I'm gonna be walking you step by step through everything you need to implement to make sure that by the end of this video, you've got something tangible, okay? We're not wasting time. So with that being said, let's jump to my computer and I will see you there. So here we are inside my computer and there's gonna be three sections to this document. The first one is gonna be picking your service. The second one is gonna be picking your niche. And uh, finally, we're gonna talk all about sales and outreach uh, when it comes to e-commerce agency. So first and first is picking your service. When working uh, with e-commerce businesses, our KPI is sales. And that's really one of the things that I want you guys to take away from the service side of things. And the fact that we are optimizing for purchase conversion value. For local businesses, on the other hand, we're getting them leads, right? For example, we can't get someone to buy something from a dentist online. I mean, I'm sure there are e-commerce dentist brands, right? But what we're trying to do for local businesses is we're trying to get people through the door so that the client can close that lead, right? When it comes to leads, there's no doubt that Facebook has the best native lead gen ad platform. And that is why if you're doing local business, it's, probably, it's pretty much a no-brainer to use Facebook ads. But for getting sales, even though Facebook ads is still our go-to platform at Mogul C, which is my agency, uh, you know, averaging roughly 85% of the total ads that we run, there are various avenues you can tap into that are very profitable and, and are geared towards driving more sales. And many of these we do at our agency. So for example, Messenger chatbots, email marketing. And I'm not talking the type of email marketing that you just send out a, a few newsletters uh, every single week. I'm talking about setting flows, setting sequences uh, triggered by behavioral data etc etc so that's the second thing and the uh, third thing is google uh, youtube ads as well and you can even try snapchat ads right there's a ton of different avenues that you can tap into to make sales for an e-commerce site and you should very actively look for ways uh, that you can make them more money out of their budget right because that's what we're optimizing for we're optimizing for sales we're, we're trying to get someone to take out their card and pay for something so the less we have to pay to acquire that customer then the more profitable we can become and so i would ask you guys to be creative, right? Yes, you can just go the, down the Facebook ad route. And I think that is a, a very, very good choice, right? Because right now Facebook still reigns supreme, their algorithm still reigns supreme. Um, but there's also a bunch of different avenues that you can use as a front end offer, which is what I want to talk about right now. What you want to do starting an, an e-commerce agency is you want to have one single service that you offer up front. So you might get people sign up for messenger chatbots or for Facebook ads, right? Then as you progress and also as you mature as an e-commerce agency owner, because right now you might not know a lot about growing brands online, but as you mature, you're gonna constantly add uh, different services on top of that, right? So I'm not talking about drastic, drastically different services. I'm not talking you go from Facebook ads to creating content for them, right? I'm talking in the same line. For example, uh, you can you, if you start with Facebook ads, you can add in there messenger chatbots. Not a very hard thing to do, and it's one of the things that is gonna benefit the client. So you, you should be constantly looking for ways to add more value to the client, benefit the client, and in return, that's gonna add more value to you financially, okay? So that is uh, that for picking your service. Then when it comes to picking your niche, if you're going down the e-com route, it's important to narrow down to your sub niche. This helps you further diversify and stand out from competitors. And the reason why that is, is because you are specialized on something. So it's the easiest edge you can get as a, you know, as a, as a, a beginner agency owner, an edge over other agencies who have more experience and more clients under their belt by just specializing. In terms of sub niches, you've got things like health, uh, tech, nutrition, beverages, there's, there's a bunch, right? There, there's so many that you can that you can uh, pick from. So what I would do is make sure that you pick one that has close affinity to you. Uh, and the reason why that is, is because then you're already gonna be able to speak their language. You know a bit about that uh, sub niche, the way they make money, their competitors, for example. And so you already have a bit of an edge uh, when starting that, okay? And so a lot of people think that's gonna limit your client opportunities and, and, and the possibilities of, of closing clients. And that's completely not true. It's, it's actually the other way around. This is actually gonna help you sign clients because you have that edge from the start 
by specializing. And trust me when I say it's actually easier to find brands within your sub niche than if you just went as an e-com agency and try to find e-com brands. Like, what does that even mean? E-commerce is not a niche, it's a sector, right? It's like saying, oh, I'm gonna do local businesses. There's hundreds and thousands, millions of local businesses in the world, right? And so it's very hard for me to find them because when you have way too many options, it actually makes it harder to make a decision. Okay? And that's a bit of a paradox. And if you guys don't believe me, look into the paradox of choice and I will leave it right here on the screen. So as I said, it gives you a massive edge over other agencies. And here is a little idea of what I'm talking about. So you've got tech, apparel, fitness, nutrition, beauty, whatever you want to do. Okay, And then you narrow down into that sub niche. The, the final thing is sales and outreach. So there's a bunch of uh, steps that you want to do here. The first thing is you want to pick the three outreach methods that work best for you. Okay, That plays to your strengths. So if you're a very good a speaker and communicator do that, okay? If you are very good at, at copywriting, you are probably more geared towards messaging uh, platforms, okay? So this is really the, the amount that I've seen uh, to be optimal. Uh, less than that, uh, you don't have room for iteration, but more than that, you're doing uh, too many things, uh, not too well, right? And you don't really know what works because you're not putting enough time into each of them. So some hours methods that you can consider for e-commerce specifically, uh, we've got cold Facebook messaging, uh, finding your prospects on Facebook and starting a conversation on the platform. Um, Make sure that if you're doing this, uh, make sure you clean up your Facebook profile. Uh, make sure you have, you have a professional picture in place. Ideally, a banner with your agency mission and, and nearby you should also have the agency mission. Um, and uh, if you have any unprofessional pictures like you party and drinking, whatever it is, make them private. Okay. Now, I, I didn't mention this, but before you pick your outreach methods, what you want to ask is, where are my prospects hanging out? What does their day-to-day -day look like? And so the reason why I've included these platforms is simply because the day-to-day -day of an e-commerce uh, business owner is online, right? It takes place online. If you were doing restaurants, the day-to-day -day of a restaurant owner usually takes place at their restaurant, right? So they're much more physically involved. They're probably much more hands-on, running around, uh, talking to clients. And so they're not gonna be as receptive to, for example, a, co uh, a cold call, right? Because they have a, lot, a ton of clients uh, hitting them up, for example, right? But knowing that the e-com business owners hang out online, that is where we're gonna be reaching out to them. And on social media, which they should be very used to having an e-com business, okay? So that is that. The next one is called Instagram video intro. Um, so I've noticed that, you know, cold DMs on IG uh, seldom work. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to do a video intro, much more powerful, okay? So you want to shoot a one to two minute video intro, um, you know, just introducing yourself, what do you do, how you can help, and a clear call to action. So a call to action could be, hey, let's book in a, a very quick call, okay? So that is that for Instagram. The next thing is LinkedIn. Um, if you're in the e-commerce uh, niche, this is of particular importance. Um, and uh, where most of your prospects will actually be hanging out. So definitely a very important platform. The next one is called email. So this is the uh, bread and butter of any outreach strategy. If you go about it uh, the right way and powerful email copy, it can be very, very effective. And um, email, you know, cold email is just one of those things that you can just rely on if you do it very well. I would say that for the vast majority of you watching, you have to have cold email within your strategy. The next one is the video audit. I've actually done a bunch of videos on my channel already on this method. Uh, you can check this one out after you're watching uh, this video. Um, then the next one is the Facebook group value added method. What this means is basically identifying Facebook groups where your prospects are gonna be hanging out, infiltrating these groups, and you wanna provide value upfront by answering questions, engaging with the community, and then people are gonna go to you most of the times. If not, um, then you can just engage uh, via DMs, okay? So once you've done that, what is next? Once you've picked three hours methods, you wanna test them out and watch out for feedback and results over one to two months. After having looked at the data, you will realize that some are performing better than others, okay? It's kind of like, if you're running Facebook ads, you wanna kill the losers and scale the winners. And that is what we're doing here. Um, depending on your personality and niche, different methods will be better suited uh, than others, okay? So what you wanna do now is you wanna pick the two winners and kill the rest. That way you'll be able to double down on the ones that are working, um, kill the ones that are not, so you're not wasting your time on things that are not working, and then you, you can scale uh, from there, okay? Then you wanna keep looking back at the data, email open rate, message response rate, people claiming the call to action, et cetera, et cetera, and you keep iterating according to feedback. So that is that for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed those three strategies. I really hope you can take those three strategies and implement them on your agency to take things up a level. If you enjoyed this video, obviously go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also leave them below in the comments any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. And the final thing is my team and I have put together a little free ebook for you to claim, walking you through not just this, but a ton of different things. You know, we'll give you scripts, we'll give you templates that you can use 
for your outreach. We go into much more depth into picking your niche, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. It will be on the first link in that description and you can go ahead and claim it and no strings attached. So, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.